Well, what's up, subscribers? Uh, thanks for joining me here at Free Guitar Lessons Pro. Uh, I wanted to show you a little trick that I like uh, when playing over um, really all chords from the major scale, but I especially like this idea of um, playing lines. Let's say we're in the key of B major. I'm playing lines outlining the B major triad but over some of the other chords from the key. So first of all, we'll start off by explaining what I'm talking about. Um, you know, you've got your notes of the B major triad. Let's like just take those uh, four for instance for right now. Each one has a diatonic upper neighbor above it. In fact, this, uh, there's two of them in between the fifth and the root. But when you start playing this way, everything you play kind of sounds like a little melody, and it tends to not sound, you know, like spaghetti, like some of the, you know, when you start playing bebop lines, and it sort of gets this sound that after a while, you, you want to stretch out and play something melodic and, um, you know, something that's not like, uh, you know, like that. I like playing that kind of stuff, too, but um, your phrasing, it doesn't really help you, so... Um, anyway, so you got like a B, a B major scale, but we're going to use it over some of the other chords of the key. So, you know, um, one trick that's nice is to think of the two chord like this, where I've just got my ring finger moved up here. So what I have is like a little sound of the two chord, a C sharp minor, but then with the B major triad on top. So. So anytime that you see any kind of B, uh, I'm sorry, C sharp minor seven chord, or any kind of minor seven chord, you just think down a whole step the major triad. So you can hear what I'm doing. Hopefully. Um, Playing the triad and adding its upper neighbors. getting to a more of a bebop thing there but so anyway looking at these chords you know no matter no matter what key it changes to that has uh, basically consists of just a whole bunch of a major seven chords and so you know rather than trying to run lines we try to compose little melodies over each chord and it becomes kind of needless to um, uh, play big long lines because you can outline the color of the chord with really just using a few notes. <laughs> Anyway, 
so I hope that helps out. Um, I, I really like this idea of being able to compose music in real time and not have to necessarily rely on memorized licks. I do recommend people go and learn, you know, your Charlie Parker solos and your um, Louis Armstrong solos and learn some nice jazz vocabulary. But in the um, quote unquote modern idiom, there's um, a lot of room to create stuff. And really, when you think this way, there is no not only is there no need for licks, but all the licks that you do know, uh, you can see that they they fit into this framework of um, triadic chord-based construction. All right, take care, y'all.